Hello, in this video I will demonstrate the procedure of lactophenol cotton blue teaspoon preparation and scotch tape preparation in mycology to examine the fungal structures. First, let's see the requirements needed for the teaspoon method. A good grease-free glass slide, fungal culture plate, lactophenol cotton blue stain, cover slip and sterile teasing needles. Place a drop of lactophenol cotton blue stain on a clean glass slide. Open the culture plate and use a sterile teasing needle to scrap some fungal colony from the agar plate and transfer the scrap specimen to the slide containing a drop of lactophenol cotton blue stain. To be noted, the slide and the fungal culture plate keep it nearby. With the help of two sterile teasing needles, gently tease apart the fungal mass. Continue to tease the fungal material until it's well separated. Sterilize the needles and then place a cover slip over the tease material. Remove the air bubbles under the cover slip by gently press down the cover slip with a two stick or with the back side of a teasing needle. Observe the slide under the microscope. When you are observing, first observe in 4x, then 10x and finally in the 40x objective lens. Under the microscope, you can see dark blue color stain fungal spores, hyphae and its structure against the pale blue background. Next, I will demonstrate cellotape flag method or scotch tape method to examine the fungal structures. First place a drop of lactophenol cotton blue stain on a clean glass slide. Then cut a strip of transparent scotch tape and stick one end of the tape to a wooden mixing stick and it looks like a flag. Then open the culture plate and touch the adhesive side of the tape onto the surface of the fungal colony and then place the tape over an area on the glass slide containing a drop of lactophenol cotton blue stain. Add an another drop of the stain on the top of the tape and cover it with a cover slip and observe it under the microscope. Cellotape flag method is a good and easy technique to see the fungal structures.